For the first time in 18 years, I no longer live in Chicago. So this year, I'll have to do a bit of traveling to get to the marathon. So it's time to hop on a Metra and head over to my running buddy's place. This is a runner's weekend in Chicago, Illinois. Though Crystal Lake is 48 miles from where we used to live in Lakeview, there is a commuter rail stop and it's about an hour ride to get into Jefferson Park, where from there I can hop on over to the Blue Line for one stop onto Montrose, which is where my buddy lives. Once I got to his house, I was able to drop off this big bag, which is the bulk of my luggage for the weekend. And then after sending a quick text, which I had to do on my Apple Watch, because I'm still doing a 30 day no iPhone challenge, I was able to hop back on the L to head downtown. All right guys, made it downtown. It started to rain while I was on the train out there. Made a cold day even nastier. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over. Hopefully there won't be a long line outside to wait and head over to the Tracksmith pop-up. try on but I got to look at and hold the Elliot the new shoe from Tracksmith. I even got a chance to talk to Brent who's one of the designers on that shoe so really fascinating to talk to him. Hopefully we'll be able to get an interview with him later once I get some miles in the shoe myself. He also happens to be wearing the shoe right now so I'm definitely going to be interested in seeing how it holds up if you're spending your entire day on your feet in that shoe. But now well, let's go get some food. Even though it was a bit out of my way, I had to stop by Lotus to get the Bambi sandwich there. I used to eat this all the time when I used to work downtown in the Loop, and it's a sandwich that I've definitely been missing. I think the Bambi generally is one of the most delicious kinds of sandwiches a person can have, and they do a really good job of it here. It was so delicious, and it hit the spot. Then it was back out into the rain for just a little bit to get over to the red line so I could attend the Fleet Feet event. Now they were gonna be doing stuff with Therabody, Ufos, and Rabbit, and I wanted to go check that out. It has been a pretty dreary day so far today, but it looks like now that I've come out of the L underground, sun is starting to shine, break through some of these clouds. We might have some decent weather. At the rabbit booth, I decided I would buy a long sleeve because I wanted to get some of the custom graphics screen printed on the shirt that they had available. I chose to get this Chicago Marathon course map printed on the back of this long sleeve and I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. The rest of the event space was really empty. I felt like I was the only person there who wasn't working at one of the booths. The Therabody place was completely empty. No one was in any of the recovery booths. The Ufos booth was also completely empty. And there was kind of like a meeting space that was also empty. But I know that it probably picked up later in the week. I know that Tommy Runs had an event where he was speaking in that kind of meeting space. And Kara Goucher and Frank Clara were also over there. So I think that I just caught it at an off time. It just kind of seemed a little bit awkward how empty and quiet it was. And I'm guessing 
after the marathon, that's really when people would be wanting to hit up those recovery boots and getting their feet into some UFOs because that's really what those two brands are all about. From there, I met up with my running buddy and we went down to the expo to go pick up our bibs. There was a ton of people at the expo at this point in the afternoon. The security line took a really long time to get through, but that was really the only wait because once you got in there, you could take as much or as little time as you wanted. And here's one place where I did have to use my phone for this weekend so I could scan my registration. From this place, they told you which other place to go to, which is where you would actually get your bib. From there, we went through the main expo hall to get our t-shirts, which were all the way in the back of the hall. You have to pass all the other booths to get there, which totally makes sense. We checked out the Saucony booth. They had a lot of really great Chicago themed stuff for this year. Same thing with the Brooks booth. They did a good job. Ultra's booth was also really well done this year. And it seems like every year that booth is very, very busy. Before we left, I did want to stop by the Asics booth as well, so I could say hi to some of my friends over an ASICS and then the one other place that we stopped was to get some posters for my running buddies kids at that point we left the expo and I split up with my buddy so that I could head over to the bean where I had a chance to meet Kara Goucher and play a couple rounds of being boozled with her Kara and I and several other people are part of relay which is a collection of running content creators so while she was in town this was something that uh, I was very happy I was able to convince her to do I also played a round of Bean Boozle with Lindsay Hine of I'll Have Another with Lindsay Hine. And we had spoken kind of like online and done like an Instagram live before, but this is our first time meeting in person. And she was also a really good sport at playing this game. And despite the expressions that we're making, I think we both actually had a really, really fun time. Just finished up, had two interviews at the Bean that I was able to film. I was a little bit worried about it because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to film there without getting kicked out because I didn't have permits or anything, but it worked out just fine. Now I'm going to head back onto the train, head back to my buddy's place, have some dinner, and then just chill out for the rest of the night. Saturday morning was the day of the Kofuzi Run Club Shakeout Run. Now, my original plan was to get there at least 30 minutes early so that I could catch up with Ben Johnson, who wasn't going to be able to make the run, but wanted to make sure we met up. But even though I got to the Bean almost 45 minutes early, there was already people there waiting to take some selfies. First, I met up with Sean and Autumn of For The Run. They're the ones who designed the jacket that I was wearing, as well as the racing singlet and the hat that I was gonna have for the race. And then after that, it was a steady stream of taking selfies with people. And people had some amazing stories, like this one person who was running the Chicago Marathon this weekend, but the first time he ran a half marathon, he happened to take a selfie with two dudes who were running the race in Stormtrooper outfits. And those two dudes happened to be me and my running buddy who I was pacing this weekend. So what I'll do is, I'll try to get like in front down here with you guys for the photo. But here's what, here's what we're gonna do. Come on in. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say yo. When I say yo, you're gonna say. You ready? <laughs> yo. Looking good, everybody. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my Woo! All right. Yeah. Let's go! Woo! 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 
then we got some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle green Kabuzi pizza shirt. So feel free to pop yourself, grab one, grab some food, and then hang out. Just finished with the shakeout run and pizza party here at Lou Malnati's. Can't believe that we were able to pull this off. It's an idea that I've had for several years now that I've wanted to somehow throw a deep dish pizza party for the Chicago Marathon weekend. And with the help of ASICs, they did all the heavy lifting for sure. With their help, we were able to get it done. We had fantastic t-shirts, pizza. We had a huge turnout, over 150 people arrived. Massive group photo, it was incredible. And we had some fantastic, perfect weather for our run today. Thanks everyone who came out. And for those of you guys who missed it, I can't believe you missed it. Hopefully I'll be able to see you guys in another city sometime soon though. After the shakeout run, I was able to go for a little bit of a walk with Esco Acorere. We did a little interview, and now I'm going to head back downtown. I'm going to meet up with Tom Wheatley of Run Testers, and we're going to have a little chat as well. So I'm going to hop on a train and head over back to the beach. All right, so I was heading downtown for another interview that I had, but I didn't even know that there was going to be this here. But there's a hookup pop-up right on Michigan Avenue. Let's check it out. Just finished up with all my interviews for today. So I think I'm pretty much done downtown. What I am gonna do is try and grab some food before I hop back on the blue line to head back to my buddy's place. I've got a couple more things I gotta do before I go to bed tonight, but pretty much I'm in relaxing mode now. Now I've already made my Chicago Marathon 2022 video and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So I thought I'd take the opportunity here to put a little bit more context into my race. I decided to run with my running buddy, a man I've known for about 17 years. We met in law school and became friends then. But about six years ago, he pretty much changed my entire life. After I'd been on a very long break from running, after a couch to marathon in 2010. My buddy asked me to train with him for a Memorial Day race back in 2016. I was unhealthy at the time and I suffered from a seemingly incurable vertigo. But I started running again anyway and I started to feel better. And so I kept running. I wouldn't be where I am today if it weren't for my running buddy. So when my buddy got into the lottery this year, I knew I wanted to run it with him, stride for stride. We had an unbelievably perfect day. Chicago showed up and gave us runners so much love. And even though this was one of the slower Chicago marathons that either of us had ever run, for me, it is certainly one of the best runs of my life. We ended up running a near perfect split with only 18 seconds separating our first and second halves. We collected our medals and drank those celebratory beers. I may have snuck in a second one. 
and then headed to the post-race party. First, we stopped by Tracksmith and met up with our fellow finishers there. And then we headed over to Irving Park to have some really good vegetarian food and cider. Eventually, we made it out to the Three Run Two after party, which is the place to celebrate the Chicago Marathon. And then the following morning, I was back on the Metra to head back home. This year's Chicago Marathon was a bit different than any other Chicago I've run before. But as long as you keep good people around you, change will just be change. But the running will always be good. Yo, what's going on?